can you homestead in an RV? You're asking the right chick. <laughs> Starry Hilder, off-grid homesteading, right? Well, what about now? I'm living the RV lifestyle, and can you really incorporate some of those principles uh, that I used to have on my off-grid homestead here in my new RV life? Well, the answer is yes. And I'm going to show you some of the things that I have incorporated in this RV lifestyle uh, that is homesteading 101 all the way. And the first thing we're going to start with is growing your own food. Yes, in an RV. I'm going to show you how I do it. What I'm creating here today is a small herb and uh, greens garden. And it's really cool because I have enough space actually in this RV to use the very top of my overhead inside as a greenhouse. Now I'm not going to make the full thing into a greenhouse because I also use it for storage. But All right, I want to show you what I'm talking about. I'm in the, the upstairs of my RV and you can see perfect window, right? And when I pull this back, this mattress is actually a little bit short. Okay, and this is going to be a perfect spot to line my herb garden. So this whole back window is going to be filled with my herbs and my lettuce. I had to really think outside the box with how I was going to do it, and I got these, uh, I'm repurposing some old garden containers. I did have to buy some soil. I just don't have access to soil right now. That's good. And I did go with a potting mix uh, that is specially formulated for indoor and outdoor container plants. And that's going to be really, really important that if you're doing any type of container gardening and you don't have your own soil that you buy some really good potting soil because it has to be light and airy and able to drain. I chose, so my idea was to take these long skinnier containers which is going to be perfect for up there and then I did have to purchase some plants but I got a discount because I used my sister's discount and I got some beautiful basil and I have my very first tomato and then what I'm going to do is plant all my greens and I'll show you how I do that so let's get started Now here's another homesteading trick that I brought with me and that is when I go to the store, now I went to the Mennonite farm and I bought some organic celery and all you need to do is cut off the root ball, put it in some water and you can see how this one's just getting started and this one's already started. Now I can take this and transplant it and I have celery in with my basil. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So basil, basil, celery. And then I'm gonna do this one with probably a mix of greens. Now I also decided to do some potted plants because the nice thing about potted plants is I can actually set them out underneath the canopy or wherever I am staying and leave them outside all day. And then when I get back on the road, they go right back inside the RV and they travel with me. It's like a traveling gypsy garden. So don't be afraid when you're living this RV lifestyle to plant and start a garden. One of the things I really miss that I didn't get to, a chance to take with me is my green stalk planter. And I'm going to call the company and see if I can get one because the green stalk planter is perfect for the RV lifestyle. But right now I'm just kind of making it work. 
and another repurposed pot and my 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 husky cherry red is going to go red in there now as i'm planting you may be asking you know starry is the queen of the wood chips right well i am using wood chips in some of my containers in fact this is a deep container that i want to put some more of my lettuce in so i am going to simply fill that bottom up with aged wood chips and I have privy to aged wood chips because my girlfriend uh, does the back to Eden garden method so there you go so here's another nifty idea my girlfriend had some of these pots and you know they look kind of yucky but I really want to use them for my pepper plants so I am going to paint them up starry style So I finished jazzing up the pots with a little bit of my starry style paints and I also have this great tote that I'm using as a greenhouse to start my greens and look at I don't know if you can see this but can you believe this I just planted this a couple days ago and I have little tiny greens sprouting can you see them they're tiny but they're coming up well there we go cool beans my garden, my RV, homesteading garden, is ready to go on the road. I have my celery, my basil, I've got two pepper plants, two tomato plants, and I've got some beautiful Italian oregano, and, and I have two more. Look at that, celery roots. It's already, look at, within two days. And that'll be going in a planter uh, pot also. The plan is, once I get on the road, this uh, traveling garden is going to be coming with me. And my long uh, tote salads are going to go up above. Yep, right up there in my own garden room. It'll be pretty cool. And the rest will go in a bigger tote, and I'll just put it inside the RV while we're traveling. And wherever I'm at, I am going to have fresh greens, I'll have my herbs and I'll have hopefully a couple tomatoes and peppers. So you see, really, you can garden anywhere. Right? I'm living proof. <laughs> the garden could come with you. So think outside the box and do it starry style. It really does work. All right. God bless you, friends.